Now we are in June of my post life and the amazing picture that Liz Bam she think think Sorry Liz, your name is just too hard to say. Hoover. Easy. Oh damn, that sounds bad. That's what she said. Anyway, um this is June and this is when Alice and her mother get in a huge fight. And I'm just saying the bitch domino, that was her fault. Alice's mom called Alice a bitch online. I know, might have spoiled the domino knockdown, but that's what the picture means. Her mom did it. Uh, June 14th at 6.10 p.m. Once again, people were complete cocks today since they refused to ask me a question because I'm not a tech PC hardware person and I happen to possess a vagina, which makes me stupid, apparently. Damn ovaries damaging my brain cells. Though, Sophie fixed it with a magical cookie from Lord knows where. Yummy town, I think. Tomorrow possesses to be a better day. With teach time. Woo! You know, I think that I should be given the option to call in, even if I'm already at work. You know, if the day gets inclemently worse throughout my shift. It's only fair. So, it starts with a simple call for a product, which, you know, we don't happen to carry at my store, but most people assume we do. But we don't have it in stock, and, you know, it goes from there. Then, as if it weren't bad enough, I have one rude customer call after another, as if it were planned. Customer one. Guy. Uh, I have a dryer that I ordered. Excessively long, unnecessary, awkward pause. Why do you customers do that? Knock the fuck off. And it was supposed to be delivered, and it's not here. Another long and daunting serial killer creeps the head of pause. Okay, uh, let me get you with someone in the warehouse. No! I just talked to the warehouse, and they said it wasn't there. Okay, so what did you want me to do? Uh, I'd like to reorder it if it's possible since I paid for it. Okay. And then I get them with customer service because who knows what the fuck happened with his dryer. And uh, then, you know, go to guy number two, customer number two. Guy, uh, I'd like to talk to someone in the computer department, a tech. Sure, was there anything specific that you were looking for? Yes. Uh, this is the incredibly awkward cue, the music from Psycho, Silence. Uh, what, what was that? Where do you work? Everywhere. Uh, are you a computer tech? Because I really need someone who knows what they're talking about. No, but I can get you with an agent if it's a tech question. No! I want to talk to a computer sales tech person. Fine. Me, on my walkie-talkie now. Hey, will somebody that doesn't have a vagina please take this call because this guy blatantly refuses to talk to me since I have a vagina and I'm not defined as a computer tech guy. <laughs> yeah. Then... Douche wanted an enclosure kit. Yeah, I could have helped you with that, asshole. I not only know what it is, but I used one for my computer. So, uh, I guess, you know, the stupid girl did fucking know something. Customer, free. Old lady. I need to talk to someone in the camera department. Yeah, what can I help you with? Uh, are you going to help me, or are you going to have me talk to somebody else? Uh, I can. What kind of camera are you looking for? I'm not looking for a camera. I need something to plug my camera into European outlets. Oh yeah, we have those. Let me double check the price. It's right around the corner. I'm going to put you on hold real quick. You know, trying to do my job efficiently, I quickly answer another call before I look for her item. It was easy. I just told the customer that we didn't have the product because... We were out, and I walked over about 20 feet and checked the prices and the differences between the six options out on the floor for the product that she was requesting. Me. 
Yep, we do have them. They're $19.99, and that's for a 50 watt. Old lady. And that's right around the corner. <sighs> Me. Fighting back the urge to kill. Well, there were about six different ones, and those are for more computers and other devices like that. So I was trying to make sure that I was looking at the right one, and the one you need is $19.99. Old lady. <laughs> I see. Well, I'll be in then. Whore! These are the times when I wish I could strangle them with my phone cord. But I can't. Because they're not in the store. Damn. Uh, customer number four. Guy. Uh, yes, I need to talk to Lindsay in the phones. Me. Yeah, sure. Is there anything specific that you were looking for? Guy. Yeah, I need to talk to Lindsay about some questions I have about my phone. Me. Okay, let me see if I can find her. Again, stupidly, I tried to take another quick call to make sure that everyone gets taken care of. But, of course, this person rambles on forever about nothing, and I miss looking for Lindsay Guy ringing back to my phone. So I pick up the call at another phone around the corner and say my same old just picked up the phone for the first time in case it wasn't him spiel, and this is how well that all went for me. Me. Blah, 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 how can I help you? Guy. Well, angrily, I want to talk to Lindsay about my phone, and someone was supposed to be getting her, but I guess she doesn't want to answer the phone, and no one wants to get her. So, I want to talk to somebody who will answer my questions about my phone. Me. <sighs> sure, just saying. And then I get Lindsay, because now she's right around the corner from me, and all is seemingly well. What is wrong with people? I mean, are these life and death issues that they're calling about? No. So, you know what? It, is this die harder where you have to make it to a certain place at a certain time and solve a riddle? Is it? No! They don't have iPads! You're 30 seconds late. Your wife and daughter die! No! <sighs> yep. On that note, I'm pretty sure the number I got for City Hall to call legal uh, when I texted to Google is hooked up to a phone that is in a room with no windows or doors and consists of only a table holding up the phone that's plugged in the wall because no one answered and I called multiple times and I waited 20 minutes each time. Now, there may be the remains of the person who used to answer the phone that, you know, but I'm pretty sure that they're dead now, and sadly, the phone line was on for both of them. I never even came up with the options to, like, press a number or anything. What the fuck?